Transformers are useful for a variety of things in audio circuits, and one of them that's, that's most prominent as an application is the removal of common mode noise from audio feeds. And for example, you have perhaps power cables and crossing the power cables or microphone cables. The microphone cables pick up a little bit of common node AC noise and you can use the transformer to null, null that out so it's zero. And this jig uh, we use as a demonstrator to show how that works. But you can actually remove it from the noise 100, or from the music 100%. By, by passing it through a simple, inexpensive transformer. Quite a useful thing and, and not complicated technically and not expensive. Other applications are raising the levels of input signals like going from a microphone into a microphone preamplifier. It's common to use transformers at the input of the microphone preamplifier to raise the level to get out of the noise floor. Um, in phono applications, um, it's the same thing. You have a phono cartridge with a very low output. You want to raise the out, output so that you don't run into the noise floor on the electronics. And a transformer does that uniquely because it doesn't generate a significant amount of noise like an, a semiconductor or a tube would. And then there are other miscellaneous transformers for things like guitar amplifiers, home audio amplifiers that are based on tube technology. Uh, in the past, this was the mainstay of the, of the market because tubes were noisy. You needed a way out of some of that noisy and by doing some amplification with step-up transformers, you could get around that problem. Um, and there are probably other, I mean, there are other things that are too numerous to talk about, but one I should talk about is impedance matching at the output of preamps to the next piece in the, in, the, in the signal chain. Sometimes you have a bad match, you can induce noise, you can have bad frequency response, and in some cases transformers can solve that problem.